James Bay. Speaker, I listen with great interest to my honourable colleague. Um, it seems to me that he's trying to discuss issues of law in a sports bar. And the snickering and laughing, I mean, the Conservatives certainly love when they can get their base all worked up and whatever hot buttons they can push. But I'd like to ask my honourable colleague about the issue of victims. Because this is a minister who refuses to meet the survivors of the St. Anne's Residential School. This is a minister who walks away on the mothers and the daughters of the murdered and missing women, who takes their information of their and throws order. 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 The Honourable Member for Timothy James Bay has a few seconds left to finish asking his question. If members have other things to say, there's uh, some time left for questions and comments. I'd be happy to give them the floor to do so, but I'd ask them to hold off until the members finish his question. The Honourable Member for Timothy James Bay. Thank you. Well, could you ask uh, people to stop swearing in the House? I know they're acting like drunks in a sports bar, but when the Minister of Environment uses the word bullshit regarding the issue... Order. <laughs> Order. Whatever may have been said certainly shouldn't have been repeated while the member has the, the floor. Uh, I'm going to ask members to come to order. It's late at night and order. I sense this might be getting off the rails rather quickly, so uh, I'm going to ask members in order. order. If members want to have a conversation, they can do so outside the chamber. Order. Order. The member for Burlington will not enter the chamber and start hurling heckles out. It's not conducive, and it's certainly not helping the Speaker try to bring the House back to its normal calm. Uh, the Honourable Member for Tim and James Bay, I'd ask very quickly to uh, wrap up his question. Well, thank you. I was asking about murdered and missing women, and you saw the outburst and the ridicule. I'd like to ask my Honourable colleague what he thinks that when the issue of murdered and missing Aboriginal women are raised, you see the behaviour of that government with the Minister throwing the information of their disappearances on the ground. Why he thinks that there's two kinds of victims and one kind of victim, Aboriginal victims, don't count. The Honourable Member for Ottawa South. Mr. Speaker, I can't divine the uh, reasons that compel this kind of behaviour either in the House or publicly. And I'll let Canadians draw their own conclusions about this kind of conduct. But I would go back to the important words that were spoken by the outgoing Director of Criminal Law Policy at the Department of Justice after a 22-year career there, the most senior advisor on criminal law policy, who in the Globe and Mail editorial could have, as they say, could have gone quietly into retirement. And instead, he, they say, he tried to talk some sense back into this country. The tough on crime route has been tried and failed. The government knows what it knows, doesn't listen to evidence, and is reluctant to ask for research to be undertaken. Resuming debate.